Hi guys, so today we're going to do a video that's a little bit different and um, quite honestly we did it with the social media girls and they swear like troopers so it's a bit of a voiceover for some of it. We're going to do removal in the first part and then we are going to do application of short square nails. A lot of you have been asking about a tips and tricks to do short nails. They are a little bit harder to apply so we hope this video covers everything you need to know. So we're going to speed through this part of the video showing you how to do the removal. We're going to do the removal in two different ways. So we're going to do one hand soaking in acetone and one in wraps. First I'm going to take my e-file. I am using the Violet Halo from Lucy Pastorelli which is absolutely amazing for doing removals and I'm just going to whiz off that top layer of top coat um, and gel colour as well. I'm going to do the same on the other hand. Using the e-file makes for a much much faster removal. It really really does. Um, so yeah you can see that we're getting through that gel really really quickly. Next we are going to take one hand and we're going to cover it in wraps. What I'm going to do here though is I'm going to use some of our delicious blueberry cheesecake cuticle oil and I'm going to pop some of the cuticle oil on the wraps before I put the acetone on. This helps keep the nails nourished um, and the skin prevents the skin from drying out too much while you're doing the removal. It's also said to help speed up removal as well so it's a nice little experiment that we're going to do here. So we're wrapping the fingers up nice and tight. She did lose a finger on this, uh, a nail on that hand and she did on the other hand as well. In fact she actually pulled it off on the other hand. So we're going to do the same with the other hand, putting some cuticle oil in the acetone and then we're going to leave them to soak. After they soaked for a few minutes we are going to remove the wraps, um, scrape off any gel that is ready to come off. Unfortunately there was none ready at that point but with the acetone bowl it's much much faster removal. We do have hot water below the acetone which does speed, um, speed the removal too. So we're going to scrape off any gel that's ready to come away and then we'll pop the hands back into the acetone to soak for a few more minutes. Now we're ready to check the wraps. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to scrape off any gel that's ready to come off, pop the wraps back on. And again with a hand that was in the acetone bowl as well. And at this point we can start to file off any loose bits of the gel. As you can see it is much much faster using an acetone bowl um, where the acetone is sat in hot water. Make sure you put the thumbs up on this video if you're liking it so far guys. So now I'm going to go in with my e-file, I'm going to remove any extra bits of gel much faster. When you're using these type of um, bits on the e-file it is important that we don't use that on the natural nail, we're only going to use that on enhancement products. So this hand is pretty much all done now so I'm just taking off any extra loose bits of the gel with the nail file. And then back to the hand in the wraps. As you can see, it is taking a lot longer um, with the wraps than it took with the acetone, but it's just a nice experiment for you guys to see the difference. If I was doing a removal just with purely with the acetone and my e-file, I would be able to remove a full set in approximately 15 minutes. The e-file really, really does speed things up, and we would recommend the Lucy Pastorelli um, e-file and her bits as well. They really are fantastic quality. So now our nails are completely removed, we are going to go in and do some prep. First things first, going to cut down um, the free edge of the natural nails, make sure they're not too long. And then I'm going to go in with my Lucy Pastorelli e-file and I'm going to start my prep. So first we're going to use a sanding band. Um, if you're using a sanding band or you're filing um, just with a hand file, we want to make sure that the grit is no higher than 180. Um, this is because it can smooth the nail plate too much and doesn't create the grippiness required for full cover tips to adhere properly. So once we have done that I am now going to go in with the flame bit and I'm going to go and get all of that um, dry skin around the cuticles um, and I'm going to get that all off and nice and cleaned up. Super super satisfying doing this type of prep, we would highly recommend it for a really really clean finish. And now I'm going to go in, I think it's with my ceramic bit, it is my absolutely favourite bit, again from Lucy Pastorelli, um, and we're going to do some even more in depth cuticle clean up with that as well. always dusting off in between to make sure we get any, rid of any residue and we can see what we're doing. Now I'm using my ball bit from Lucy Pastorelli, again just cleaning up the cuticle area, any dry skin, before I go in and use some nippers to remove any excess cuticle. 
we do find that a hybrid way of prep using the e-file and manual tools such as nippers do get the best results. Quick tidy up on the free edge of the nails just with a nail file. And now we are ready to get applying. So first things first, we're gonna slow down here and we're gonna show it in real time. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna size up all of the tips. So today we're using short square. A lot of you guys have requested the application for short nails because you do find it a little bit harder. Because there is less to grip onto when you are doing the application, it is a little bit harder to do. And um, so hopefully we'll give you some good tips and tricks that will help you with your application today. So remember when sizing, I tend to find that the nails on both side, uh, on both hands will be at the same size more often than not. So if the client is a 10 on the little finger on their right hand, they're likely to be a 10 on the little finger on the left hand. So I always get two of each size out and this does help speed up the application. Remember when you're sizing up the tips as well, it's very important to press firmly down so that the tip spreads out from sidewall to sidewall. You don't want to simply place it onto the nail, you want to make sure it spreads firmly as you will be putting firm pressure on when you are doing your application. Also important to remember we don't want the tips to be too big. If the tips are too big, it can cause problems with retention. So we want to make sure that it fits side to side. And if your client is between sizes, you can use a nail file just to remove the sides and just to shape it to fit your client a bit better. So again, you can see as I size one, I'll get the second tip out for the other hand and I'm just leaving them in order as well so I know what I'm doing when I come back to apply them. So now we are ready to get etching. So I'm gonna take my X edge. I am gonna paint it on. We may, wanna make sure we don't have too much product on. We don't want it to be pooling because this will take you longer as you'll need to wait for the product to dry as you mash it. So once you've swiped it on, make sure you get mashing and you want to feel that the texture of the tip become really sticky. You'll see the texture change and that'll create that grippy surface that we need to apply the nails and make sure we have maximum retention. So when you take the brush out the bottle, wipe the excess off on the edge of the bottle and this will make sure that you don't have too much. Also important to note, we don't want to go, once you've applied your excess and you've mashed it, you don't want to go back in and apply more because you can end up smoothing out the tip and that can obviously cause retention problems. This is an important part of the process just to make sure that we do get maximum adhesion. So we're coming to the end of mashing all of our nails. As I said before, this is a really, really important part of the process just to make sure we have maximum retention. Make sure you get it all over the full area that's gonna be in contact with the natural nail. So once they are all etched, ready to go, etched and sized, we're now gonna go in and we're just gonna quickly apply some primer to the nail. You wanna make sure you cover the full area of the nail, but don't flood the nail with the primer. We don't need too much.
So now I'm gonna hand you over to live Rebecca to talk you through how to easily or more easily apply the short square tips. Right, here it comes guys. Important application for short nails. Okay, there's a few tips and tricks for this. Number one, always have our light ready. Right, I need to try and film this so that we can actually see what I'm doing. That's kind of on the side, so that might work quite well. Yeah? And then I'll just, okay. Oh. Unless I actually just need anything that happens. Okay. okay, so first we are going to put our gel on, make sure there's no cloth. Sleep on. She's got quite long nail beds, so make sure there's quite a lot. Okay, put it on as usual. Now, the important thing is that you don't hold your thumb forward like that because you're going to cover more of the tip. You want to hold your thumb sideways and hold as little of the tip as you possibly can okay hold it sideways 45 degree angle up to the cuticle pressing down now the problem is you're not going to be able to see when you reach the free edge and you're not going to be able to cure the full nail at once so what we're going to do is we're going to cure the the bottom first bottom and then we're going to slide our thumb down There we go. It's a little bit too much gel, but it's all right. We're gonna do the same on the other side. It must be really hard to judge when you're... It is. And especially when you can't see the free edge because you can't see when to stop pushing. That's where the E fails for it all. If you get any seepage. We also just did the video on seepage. So same here. So holding your thumb sideways, holding the very, very end of the tip. I'll show you a slightly different way to apply as well. So we're gonna apply basically the same way to begin with. Okay. So curing the base first. And then what you can do is move your thumb there and holding hold the base while you cure the tip. The tip of the tip. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It's actually perfect amount of gel there. There we go, hold that under there. Stunning. Same here. Yeah, I like this length of tip. Me too. This is like how my nails used to be a builder. So again, thumb is sideways, holding just the very end, 45 degree angle up to the cuticle, pressing down slowly and firmly. Again, you can't see when it's reached the free edge. That is the only annoying thing. Curing the base around the cuticle area first. Who's on the And then you can just, my preference is just to sort of, oh, we've got seepage. Slowly move your thumb down, because then you can see if you've got any bubbles or if it's cured enough to be letting go. And we're just holding them very, very I have tip. quite flat nail beds as well, so it's like yeah. hard to do the short tips. Yeah. So you're doing a great job. Thanks. <laughs> Trying my best. There you go. Oh, stuck to it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the light back on. There we go. Okay, same here. It is much harder to do it the shorter tips. You just need to practice. So again, 45 degree angle, holding the very, very edge with our thumb sideways, not facing forward. Okay, curing the base first. Pinkies up. And then we're going to slowly move our thumb down. Nice. Okay, next. Keep that one there. Another thing is don't wear gloves on the hand that you're going to be applying with because the gloves tend to get trapped underneath. That's why I've taken my glove off on this hand, okay? So 45 degree angle at the cuticle. Press. 
pressing down as hard as we can, curing just the base first. You are more likely to get seepage and things with this with a short length, um, but we'll show you how to take that off. Just because you can't see whether you can't see the full area, so you don't have quite as much control over the product. Perfect. Just while it's in my head, see one day when I'm getting engaged, if Scott comes and says she needs her nails done, she's getting engaged, make sure it's a fringe. Oh Jesus. With really? a nice nude. Yeah. Now we're getting married and having sex kids. But not want four. So again, we're just curing the base first. Oh, losing grip a little bit here. Go slowly. Oh, keep that one there. Kind of a funny angle just because of the camera. Just look at my hand shape. I don't know why I'm holding that. <laughs> Pure. Yeah. So, again, holding just the very end, thumb sideways. Very firm pressure. Pushing. Make sure you've got a really good grip underneath the nail. And we're just curing the base first. And then we are gonna just pull our thumb down. There we go. Get that one there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? You know how when you're in school and you get into trouble by a teacher? Yes. Tap, tap, tap. There you go, you did it. Good job. Thanks. Good job. Um, that's what I felt like when you're not allowed to laugh. Okay, so pressing down, curing the base first. Stop laughing, you two. <laughs> curing the base first. We're like naughty children. And then we're slowly just going to pull our thumb down. Yay. Keep that one there. We're going to be on a TikTok ban for early mornings now because I think it gets us too excited. It is. I'm really excited for you to perform. I'm gonna post like three or four different variations of it to be honest and just hope one of them works. I told her that we need to take the print out or we just The what? The print that we ripped off our <laughs> So again, we're just gonna cure the base first because our thumb is covering the end, so obviously that's not getting cured right now. And then we're just going to slowly move our thumb down, making sure that we can actually release. There's no bubbles or anything. Leave that there. Jade, you can pop your hand in that. There we go. Last one. seepage so what I'm going to do first hold that on with that thumb scrape that off still got seepage so cheeky good my thumb is a funny shape mm -hmm. this one is funny got a wee bubble it should be all right as long as it's sealed all the way around At this point we're just going to go in and do a little bit of refining so i'm just changing the shape very very slightly just to create a sharper square shape and um, but really just a few flicks over the nail file creates that nice shape for you you can do that as well you can change the shape of any tips we don't recommend cutting down from a long to a short but from a medium to a short or a long to a medium you absolutely can trim the nails and reshape them as desired the reason that we don't want to cut from a long to a short for instance is it can affect the integrity of the structure of the tip which means that you could be more prone to snapping
So now I'm gonna go in with my Lucy Pastorelli e-file bit and I'm gonna just refine the cuticles. This step isn't absolutely necessary, but if you want a super, super clean finish, you can go in and do it, but it isn't always needed. I am using the five in one bit from Lucy Pastorelli. The reason being that the end is extra fine. So it's really good. It doesn't create any damage to the nail, the, the tips, and it just creates a really, really nice fine finish. Also the fact that it's flat at the end means that you are not in danger of hurting the client cuticles. Now we're just gonna go in with our buffer and we're just gonna take the shine off. We don't want to thin the nails at all at this point. It is literally just to remove the shine. So just quickly going over, never with a nail file, just with a buffer, 180 or 240 is absolutely fine. And that is just to remove the shine so that they are prepared for the gel polish and that the gel polish will stick. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope it helps you with your short tip application in the future. If you like this video, please subscribe. It helps us and we hope to see you again soon. Bye guys. Perfect.